Marion Wright Edelman born June 6, 1939, is an American activist for the rights of children. She has been an advocate for disadvantaged Americans for her entire professional life. She is president and founder of the Children's Defense Fund CDF. Early years Marion Wright was born June 6, 1939 in Bennettsville, South Carolina. Her father was Arthur Jerome Wright, a Baptist minister, and her mother was Maggie Leola Bowen. In 1953, her father died of a heart attack when she was 14, urging in his last words, don't let anything get in the way of your education. Education She attended Marlboro Training High School in Bennettsville, where she graduated in 1956 and went on to Spelman College in Atlanta, Georgia. Due to her academic achievement she was awarded a Merrill Scholarship which allowed her to travel and study abroad. She studied French Civilization at the Sorbonne University and at the University of Geneva in Switzerland. For two months during her second semester abroad, she studied in the Soviet Union as a Lyle Fellow. In 1959, she returned to Spelman for her senior year and became involved in the civil rights movement. In 1960, she was arrested along with 14 other students at one of the largest sit ins at the Atlanta City Hall. She graduated from Spelman as valedictorian. She went on to study law and enrolled at Yale Law School, where she was a John Hay Whitney Fellow and earned a Juris Doctor in 1963. Member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority, Inc. Edelman received an honorary doctorate from La Salle University in May 2018. Activism Edelman was the first African-American woman admitted to the Mississippi Bar. She began practicing law with the NAACP Legal Defense and Educational Fund's Mississippi office, working on racial justice issues connected with the civil rights movement and representing activists during the Mississippi Freedom Summer of 1964. She also helped establish the Head Start program. Edelman moved in 1968 to Washington, D.C., where she continued her work and contributed to the organizing of the Poor People's Campaign of Martin Luther King, Jr. and the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. She founded the Washington Research Project, a public interest law firm, and also became interested in issues related to childhood development and children. In 1973, she founded the Children's Defense Fund as a voice for poor children, children of color, and children with disabilities. The work of the Children's Defense Fund CDF primarily revolves around its teen pregnancy prevention program. The organization has served as an advocacy and research center for children's issues, documenting the problems and possible solutions to children in need. She also became involved in several school desegregation cases and served on the board of the Child Development Group of Mississippi, which represented one of the largest Head Start programs in the country. As leader and principal spokesperson for the CDF, Edelman worked to persuade United States Congress to overhaul foster care, support adoption, improve child care, and protect children who are disabled, homeless, abused, or neglected. As she expresses it, If you don't like the way the world is, you have an obligation to change it. Just do it one step at a time." She continues to advocate youth pregnancy prevention, child care funding, prenatal care, greater parental responsibility in teaching values and curtailing what she sees as children's exposure to the barrage of violent images transmitted by mass media. Several of Edelman's books highlight the importance of children's rights. In her 1987 book titled, Families in Peril, An Agenda for Social Change, Edelman stated, as adults, we are responsible for meeting the needs of children. It is our moral obligation. We brought about their births and their lives, and they cannot fend for themselves." Edelman serves on the board of the New York City-based Robin Hood Foundation, a charitable organization dedicated to the elimination of poverty. Personal life During a tour by Robert Kennedy and Joseph Clark of Mississippi's poverty-ridden Delta slums in 1967, she met Peter Edelman, an assistant to Kennedy. They married on July 14, 1968. Edelman and her husband, now a Georgetown law professor, have three children, Joshua, Jonah, and Ezra. 
Joshua is an educational administrator, Jonah works in education advocacy and founded Stand for Children, Ezra is a television producer and director who won an Academy Award for his documentary OJ, Made in America. Honors and awards 1982 Candace Award, National Coalition of 100 Black Women 1985 MacArthur Fellowship 1985 Barnard Medal of Distinction 1986 Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa Bates College 1988 Albert Schweitzer Prize for Humanitarianism 1991 Award for Greatest Public Service Benefiting the Disadvantaged, an award given out annually by Jefferson Awards 1992 Boy Scouts of America, Silver Buffalo Award 1993 National Women's Hall of Fame 1995 Community of Christ International Peace Award 1996 The Second Annual Heinz Award in the Human Condition 2000 Presidential Medal of Freedom A Marlboro County Library named in honor of Edelman, opened on February 22, 2010, in her hometown of Bennettsville, South Carolina. 2011 Rathbun Visiting Fellow at Stanford University 2014 Rhode Island School of Design, MLK Celebration Series Annual Honoree and Keynote Speaker Bibliography <inaudible> <inaudible> <inaudible>